Christianity is full of rules and it is boring. That's what I hear a lot. Is it true? Check it out right here, right now. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship, helping you go deeper in your faith and living it out in the world today. So is Christianity boring because it has so many rules that uh, you just can't live your life freely? Well, it depends on how you look at it because let's just take life, for example. Let's take when you work. Um, when you work, there's rules that dictate uh, what time you've got to be work, uh, what time you take your lunch break, um, how you interact with other people, maybe whether it's customers or other people in your um, employment that... Um, there's rules that dictate how you work. Does it make your work more or less enjoyable? Well, it kind of gives you a framework in how to um, kind of work and work to your best ability. When we live life, when you, for example, when you go driving to work or the supermarket, if you're um, in a town, you can't go more than 30 miles an hour. You can't go 50 miles an hour. You can't get to the end of a roadway it's you, your stop the uh, the car going the other way has the right of way you can't just pull out and if there's an accident say well the, the, you know there's no rules dictating this i can do what i want there are rules to actually uh, keep us safe to enhance us outside so i don't get why people um say to me uh, the bible is full of rules and it makes life boring well actually you can just say that about life because um, there's so many rules that dictate what we can and can't do in our lives and it really just depends on how you see it um, and and this is the important thing so if we took all the rules away who's going to um, have a better life will it be you well I think actually most uh, times um, it's the people who haven't got the conscience uh, who will um, or want to do bad things who will ultimately kind of triumph uh, they can come into your home they can steal whatever they can beat you they can kill you and if there's no rules then that's fine they can do what they want other people with a bit of conscience they wouldn't go that far and they wouldn't do that um, so people will kind of rule the roost as it were um, who who kind of have that um, kind of mannerism in them Rules are there to help us to enhance our lives and to keep the good people safe and to carry on. There's a really good analogy uh, by Nicky Gumbel, who does the Alpha course, and it might actually be from that, uh, of a football match or any sports match. That if you didn't have any rules in the sports match, then the players could just do what they wanted and then it doesn't become enjoyable. But you put a set of rules and you kind of put the pitch there um, and then the match becomes enjoyable because the rules dictate um, how the game should go and, and what happens in the game. It becomes um, such a good game that actually then you can get stadiums of people to come and watch it. Um, and the only time actually when those rules are broken, you get the referee who, who steps in, who makes important decisions and, and who dictates um, what's going on. But most of the time the referee is there just watching and doing nothing because the players are abided by the rules it's only when the rules are broken or the ball goes out of play that the referee has to intervene um so rules actually can enhance life and keep us uh, more conscientious people safe and enhance us um now the difference we um for us as christians is how we see these rules um, and how we see them in the Bible, these commands and how we, we should live our lives as Christians. Um, real freedom uh, that we have through these rules um, isn't for us to be selfish. So we won't take and say, well, now we can do what we want with Christians and we're going to live our lives selfishly. Actually, uh, real freedom is um, doing not what we please, uh, but having the power to do what is right. So we will choose to do what is right, not what we please. And these come from uh, reading the study of the Bible, comes from the Holy Spirit, uh, guiding us in our lives as Christians. So that's the difference. Um, does it make our lives more boring? Absolutely not. In fact, uh, m more Christians uh, that I see in uh, the locality or across the world and, and hearing an amazing testimonies, is that their life is more fulfilling. And actually, that's what Jesus says in John 10.10. 10, um, 
I have come that they may have life and live it to the full. Um, that Jesus comes that we can have life and we can live it to the full by being in him. And this is the thing. It's to him that we look actually as Christians because here's a person who's living life to the full, uh, abiding by uh, the rules of a Christian. Um, and we don't see in him, in his life, um, you know, lust or, or greed or, or lying or he's free from those things. He's free from skeletons in the, the closet. He's not hiding anything. Um, when we live our lives as Christians and, and don't lie and, and, and don't lust after things and, 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 and don't hide things in the closet, then that enables us to be freer to live our life out um, as Christians. Uh, a very marked difference to people in the world and, and that's what people see, that we can, through looking at the life of Jesus, um, become more fuller and freer in our lives within, within those rules. So on the one hand, Jesus can set us free um, and through the Bible and the Holy Spirit, we can see how we live our lives. On the other hand, we can choose um, that those rules are completely boring and are going to uh, really just uh, make our lives um, utterly just uh, dictated to. And, 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 and Christianity is not like that. Actually, Christianity is freeing. Uh, and, and, and enabling um, and this is the thing so when people say to me Christianity is full of rules and it's utterly boring I'm like actually actually it's not actually I'm more free in my life now than I ever have been and there's things that I don't take on my life that I used to and now I'm being freer and I can uh, live my life out more without all the crap that um, life can dictate and throw at you and it's because of the rules, because of what the Bible says, that actually enables that. But don't go and like say Christianity is full of rules and then forget that your life is dictated by rules. Um, does your life in outside of Christianity become boring because of these rules? And actually, or actually do these rules enhance your life and make it a better experience? Well, that's just what um, uh, some of the things that the Bible tells us um, to do really challenging uh, because what happens when you get um, a dict dictatorship or something like that rules that are imposed upon you well actually when there's rules that are not for good and only for evil then actually that inside Christianity outside Christianity you have to understand you can't follow those rules but rules are telling you to harm other people they're, they're not um, rules that you follow so um it's about rules that enhance your life, not rules that kind of dictate and force you to do things that you don't want to do. Rules that give you freedom. And again, that's what the Bible uh, says and helps us. And by looking at the person of Jesus Christ, we can live a full life in him and free. But what do you think? You think actually Christianity really is utterly boring because it has too many rules. What about life? Um, what about life rules? How do you balance and reconcile those two? When people say to you as a Christian um, that Christianity is boring, what because of rules? What do you say to them? Put them in the comments below. Um, if you think this video is helpful to somebody, uh, click the share button to share it with them. Like the video, get it out there further. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon. Bye. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Bible and for the life of Jesus. And that through those we can live a full and freeing life. Understanding that, that rules are good for our lives. They enhance us. They help us to keep us safe and to be free. We pray for all those who are under oppression or under oppressive rules we ask for you to come in and break that oppression that people may find freedom in you for all those who think uh, christianity is boring because of rules we do pray for them that their eyes are opened that they will see that actually life can be lived to the full through you and we pray this in jesus name amen